My chair was shaken, like almost it felt like an earthquake. My chair was shaken, the piano was shaken, like the ground was unstable. Hi, I'm Evelina, and this is how I made piano history in the clouds. I grew up playing piano at the age of 18. It looked like my career as a performer would be very promising. I played at the opera house, I played at the club. I sometimes was playing up to 17 hours a day. It was very intense kind of period of time and eventually this is what ruined my hands. They said I probably will never play classical music again. I started feeling really, 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 really sad. I couldn't play kind of any serious classical music for 14 years. My back went out, so I went looking for a physiotherapist to fix my back, and we became friends, and eventually she said she could fix my hands. In two weeks, I already started feeling my hands playing um, almost, you know, what I could play before. I remembered about this little shop called Camden Piano Rescue. There was this grumpy old guy and then I saw a beautiful grand piano. I started playing Chopin and he said, oh, that's like my favorite thing in the world. He said, Evelina, I have this idea that I want to do the highest concert, piano concert in the world and I think you are the person to do it. It was a mini baby grand flown to Delhi by the cargo plane. In the airport, it was nearly pierced by a forklift. He took it um, two days on a jeep to Leh, the capital of Jammu and Kashmir. The previous record was at 4,460 meters, I think. So we knew we were making a world record. It was about 5,000 meters, seven and a half hours up the mountains on the bumpiest road you've ever seen. And as soon as we started offloading the piano, it started snowing. Two minutes later, it started hailing. We were at the point of total panic. The sun came out. So we all started like scrambling. I ran to the piano and I started playing straight away. It got so windy. The wind chill was so strong. It was penetrating my bones. It felt like an earthquake. My chair was shaken. The piano was shaken, like the ground was unstable. But I played um, until I physically couldn't play anymore. My joints, like, literally stopped moving. <laughs> the project um, inspirer and organizer and visionary Desmond, he passed away two weeks after we got back. I actually am sad that I took all my abilities for granted when I was young. I appreciate everything I play. I appreciate it so much more. It might sound trite, but I, I think reframe it as what do you gain by having this limitation?